Uh, hello, everybody. How are you doing? Um, uh, it's your boy. Uh, I don't know. Look, okay. So, I'm a little sick, so if I sneeze, cough, or do some weird stuff, let me know, I guess. I'll just be like, hey, bro, you good? No? Okay, well. Um, but, it seems like some people are kind of struggling with uh, one very big aspect of um, emergency lighting, which is rotators. And I just said, hey, you know what? Why not be that one guy and go out of his way and actually do something good for the community and help people learn? Oh, no, that's bad. Oh, wait, no. Oh, okay, never mind. Who is calling me? No. Anyways. Um, it seems like some people are kind of struggling with rotators now. If you don't know what a rotator is, obviously you've been living under a brick. So I will show you what they are. Um, yeah, okay, cool. So, this vehicle here, and this one here as well, both have something called a rotator. I know, right? Never heard of it before. Basically what it is, is it's these lights on the top that rotate instead of being like a regular LED light bar. So, um, we'll actually go into the game so that you can see, oh, okay, um, I'm gonna, oh, excuse me, do this, this, um, we're also going to actually be smart and, um, change this to this. Any second now, it should be loading, hopefully. Yep, there we go. Beautiful. So, now that we have our, our light bars and stuff, oh, also forgot, Voxel is for people who have no lives. I'm just kidding. Um, there we go. Now it's better. So, I'm going to show you kind of both of these cars so you guys can see what I mean. Um, we'll go with this one first, because, well, actually, you know, they're, they're all stages, so. Um, but, um... Uh, you'll see how this works, and this is like a mini flex you can say. So, if we go into the um, Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Vehicle, you will see, uh, first off, we have the Federal Signal Vision SLR with the traffic director on the back. We have the, um, some random lights that I put there, I don't know. Um, we have flashes here, you can push bar that says Metro Police on it, because, you know, gotta get that ultra thick realism but um, we're gonna activate stage three as you can see the lights are actually physically moving around and you know if you live in New York you'll you'll know that the, all the cop cars have this and if you don't well you're seeing it now but um, you know you can see the lights um, rotating um, so yeah and I'll show you like how to do something like this compared to, let's say, something like on this car, which you'll see, we activate stage um, two, which is realistic, by the way. Um, stage two activates these two lights that face back, while these two face the front and they're flashing back and forth. Uh, now, if you activate stage three, you'll see if this light only rotates that way, 90 degrees, like it is in real life, um, some vehicles, not all of them. These two rotate, these two rotate, and these two rotate. You can see that there's two different colors on that light. It's red and blue and stuff. Uh, we're actually going to move this car up a little bit so that it doesn't get affected by the light on the um, uh, Las Vegas vehicle. Um, and then you'll also see we have the message board back here with a mesh traffic. Or not mesh traffic, but mesh text. Yes, so that text is a mesh. I know. How did you do it? Uh, the world may never know. But, um,. There you go. It actually looks very good from far away. You can kind of see the text just like real life, so it's pretty beautiful. Um, anyways, um, you can kind of see how the light works here. It's all it does. It really just rotates. There's nothing, you know. There's no voodoo behind it. There's no like, um, yeah, like voodoo or something. Oh my god, dude. There's like no voodoo behind it. No like. You know, okay, so hopefully that's simple enough for you to understand that it's pretty simple. So, um, here's what we're going to do. 
we're going to get the Crown Victoria model um, that I published not so long ago, and we're going to use that Crown Vic model. It's kind of like an old school Crown Victoria. Now, um, if I can find the um, charger to find the model, that'd be great. In fact, I don't even think I came up with a um, thumbnail for it, a custom one, so. Oh, here it is. Update fix. It's just that the things are really on now, is it? So, now we have our car there. We're going to um, separate this and we're going to take the uh, white one. I believe that this one um, has. No, it doesn't be a full. So, we're going to change the color to black here. We're going to make reflection 0 0.05. That way we get that realistic kind of reflection-y look on the car. Instead of this like dark, no reflection, no so like phantom black looking kind of color. I'm gonna do that. Um also here, uh this is another tutorial, I guess you could say, or something that people just seem to overlook. When things are in folders on H assets, and it, it H assets and just Roblox believes that whatever's in a folder must obviously not be inside the car. So when you're here and you want to know how to make your own like old old style Crown Vic or you realize that hey some of the things aren't there when I go in game, this is why. So if you want to keep something, so I don't want the interceptor package, I want the street package. So we will go here and make transparency zero. As you can see here, um, for some reason that isn't loading up, but that's fine, it doesn't matter. Yeah, there we go. Um, actually, I'm going to paint it um, like this kind of blue, hopefully. Oh, it's just not loading up. Okay. Yeah, we'll just do blue like that. It's fine. But now you can see we have the, um, the street package for this right here. Um, I actually do not like the fact that it's... What is this? It's the blue piece. Okay. This is apparently black. This is this and this. This what's this? This is the okay. Um, we'll make that this this color this color. But like zero point zero five. I don't know. We'll make it a little darker. Okay. Mm, that looks okay. We'll take this and we'll group it and we'll take it outside of the um, street package folder. Along with the license plates, because if you don't have that, it'll fall off as well. Uh, we put it in the same model, which is not that one, it's this one. Yeah. So, now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to get, uh, let's see if we can find it. Go to a barn. Yeah, there it is. We'll put it over here. Um, let's say, I don't know why it's taking a little long, but let's say that uh, I wanted a, I see it here, oh, it's in the front, okay. Let's say I wanted to put one of like these lights, like, kind of one of those like movie kind of um, vehicles where like, you'll see it in a movie and then it looks like, oh, wow, and then you'll see like a Crown Vic or something with like the light up here on the side, you know what I mean? So we'll do that. And... Um, this is another how to make your own police vehicle tutorial, you can say. So, control shift V to put it inside the model instead of you having to copy it and paste it in there. Um, and the model was pretty well sized, so usually it's the driver who puts the light, so we'll put it like over here. Now, I won't rotate it just yet, just so that um, it's easier to actually add the rotating lights into the vehicle. So, we'll keep it like this. Uh, we'll do the animations or like the uh, rotation with the motors, and then we'll um, we'll go from there. So texture ID, we could remove that, and we could change it to any color we want. In this case, I want it to kind of be yeah, like really red. So just kind of the way it was in the um, template, but I want this to go like this seven, and maybe have a little bit of a uh, reflection on there that way. If you're looking at it, you can kind of see the reflection a little bit. I'm not sure if you see it. Because you can see it just very, very little bit. 
No, um, we're going to make sure that these have can collide off, which they didn't. But we're also going to find the pieces. So we have the rotating bit, which is this. We have, oh, thanks. Um, we have this, which is the base piece. And we have the glass piece. So there you go. Uh, we have our, our, our three basic um, shapes that we need. If this isn't separated on the top, you could still do the rotation, but it will look weird since this piece isn't rotating. If you know what I mean. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to a car that does have these um, lights that do rotate. And we're going to go and take the rope lights, which you see here, and the G1 slash G2. Now, G1 slash G2, this is, is, um, this is basically for this in here. These are the lights, the lights that are inside so these red pieces, that's what that is, okay? So no, don't worry. You don't have to use G2 or G1, you know, like the basic police light method um, to do your cars. So you're good. Anyways, now that we have our rotation lights, we can copy these and move it over here to this vehicle. Um, in fact, we uh, might as well just copy the whole light bar and then just remove the stuff we don't need. Just makes it um, 12 times easier and then you don't have to keep going back to another vehicle to get lights and stuff. So, now that we have this here, we're going to rotate it so that the siren brick is in the front. I mean, it doesn't really matter where you put it. You could do this. I just do it for the sake of positioning. That way I don't have to come back later and reposition some things. So, now that we have that, we can delete all of these besides the uh, besides the G1 and the strobes. Because the strobes is what basically enables on. So, you can delete all the other scripts besides those two for the rotation lights, of course. Um, any other lights that you don't want, such as the vertex, you can delete those as well. G1, you can delete those. Like, if for a light like this, you don't really need G1 as the light actually rotates physically. But if your light doesn't rotate, and your light is like this one, where it is a single light, it's just a piece that rotates around it, then you can keep G1 in there and put the physical lights in there, which you can see here. I'm going to change it to neon, and you can see there they are. But uh, since we don't really need G1 here, we will delete this, uh, and we'll have to come edit the script later. You could also delete all the other lights besides the middle brick. And there we go. We're almost set up for this. So... Now comes making this middle piece physically rotate. So how do we do this? So first off, delete everything else besides one of the motors. Now, since motor one is a center light, we have to find the center light that is a rote light model. So the first one, thankfully, is the center one that matches up with motor one, as you can see here. So we'll delete all these other rote lights and all of the other motors. Oh. What I wanted to do. There we go. So now we have rote light and motor one. So motor one contacts motor one inside the part, um, and these two must be uh, renamed if you want it to do a different function for a different light, as it does for the NYPD and this. So uh, we'll come over here and we'll go back to this light over here. Now the first thing I want to do is if your light has a glass piece like this that is separated and it's on its own, copy the position of this light, since this light will give you basically the perfect middle position to position the motor in which the light is going to rotate. So, that's what we'll do. And I just remembered that my friend wanted me to do something, so I will show you that as well. Um, first off, let's kind of remove any rotation that is on it already. That way, the motor doesn't look bad in case that this may be rotated a little bit because um, that is a, another problem with um, wobbly wheels if you have the problem which I will show you but um, there's some people who have problems with wobbly wheels in which their wheel their wheels wobble a little bit so um, that's that's a problem there it's basically the rotation inside the wheel if it's not 180 and 90 or something that's a perfect number that ends in zero unless your car is rotated, of course, then obviously your wheels will rotate. If it's even 0 0.02 rotated in any of the planes, it will look wobbly when you're driving, especially when you're going fast. So that's that's there. I'll probably show you how to fix that in detail a little later. But for now, 
Now that we've got the position of this, which I will copy it again just to be sure, we can go back into the rote light and copy the position of motor 1 and the motor 1 inside of the rote light to here, to this position, as motor 1, both of them, share the same position for a reason. Um, the motor 1 that has the physical motor on the inside connects this piece, which is the rotating brick, to this piece. And this piece is basically giving this piece the, I guess you could say, the which direction to rotate it. You could probably say that. So, now that we have that, we can press enter, and you'll see that it's practically perfectly in the center of that middle rotating light. So, now we can delete this mesh part, and we can actually get the piece that rotates, which is here, bring it in here, and now we have a rotating light. As for the white piece, you probably could put that in the same position as well. And as I said, if there's any pieces that have any rotations on it from uh, previous, um, just change it. So this one has 89, put it up to 90. This one has 89, put it up to 90. Oh, that's 90. There we go. This one has 91, so we'll do negative. And now our vehicle is almost set up for the roto, uh, roto lights, what I'll call them. So to make roto lights work and not have them rotate the entire car, basically, because that's a problem that some people have, what you have to do is tell A chassis to ignore this piece. So how do I tell A chassis to ignore whatever is called rote light or lights? which you can probably see somewhere, I don't know where. Um, basically, what you do is you come in here, and this works for motors as well, if you want to make opening doors, you could also use motors, etc, etc. Come inside of the HSS team, go inside the initialize piece, and here you'll see that there's, um, you know, usually some cars will have this like this, I put hood because I wanted to make the hood work, but I never got a chance to. But, um, some vehicles come with like this piece already here, all you have to do is just replace the hood, with the name of the model, which is Rot Light or Rot Light. Replace the word hood with Rot Light or Rot Light, whatever you want to call it. And then you'll see that now HS says, okay, you want me to ignore that piece? Okay, copy, bro. Now it's done. Now, one final piece that I kind of want to add before I um, continue to do this um, video is. Uh, as you see here, I'm going to position the lights a little bit so they um, face two separate directions. But um, uh, something about this is that you'll see that this light doesn't really have a a center. Like the light piece itself doesn't really glow, and there's really no way to do that through the mesh. So I'll probably put up a cylinder there um, and have it be like the the glowing piece in the in the equation. So first, I want to check the light and make sure that. Um, it's facing one direction, so that I can make the other light face the other direction, and hopefully that doesn't break the scripts. Um, but, or actually, we could just put one down. But if you want to put two down, I'll probably show you how to do that. But first, I want to make sure that this light is facing the front. So what we'll do is we'll go here, um, and we'll check the light and where it's facing. As you can see, the light is facing front. So that's, the light is white, so we'll change it to uh, red. Now we can take, uh, we can duplicate the white, turn it around, make it face this way, and now we have a light facing front and back. And we're going to make these lights uh, enable false. Um, if anything, really, you can just take this and put it into the other white, name it Spotlight 1. one. That way you don't have to keep using the same parts. So for this, we'll just move the white to the center ish. So now these two lights are facing a different direction. Now, there we go. Beautiful. Okay. And then I said that I would get those rotation pieces. So here's what I'll, or like the uh, glowing pieces inside of the rotation part itself. So we'll put a part in this. Because whatever's in here will be automatically welded. So, since the mesh piece is this rotating piece, I'll copy the position for it and the size. We'll do the size first, that way it's um, sort of easier to deal with, you can say. So, oh, wait, hold on. Oh, okay, never mind. We're good. Um, we'll bring that into the part. As you can see there, we'll make sure that the part is anchored and can't collide false. 
We'll also make it red and neon. And I'll show you how to, through the script, activate this um, neon affected light. And you'll see that in a moment. So now we have our cylinder shape. Well, I'm actually going to make it um, glass for now. Okay, so that way we can see. Now I want to copy the position of the mesh piece and bring it to the part. There we go. And I'm going to make the part a little smaller. That way it fits the actual lighting piece and not the piece below it. And then let's bring this up a little bit right there. And now we can um, bring this all the way to the end, actually, like that. And like that. Oh, one more. Yep. Now, from here, it looks kind of dumb. Now, of course, in game, in game, it'll look like that. And when the light is rotating, people wouldn't, I hopefully, people won't really mind seeing that piece there. As this is a mesh, um, for those who don't have mesh software, it might be hard to separate that front piece. So we'll just keep it that way for now. So, now that we have that down, we can change this material to, well, we can keep it neon and make the transparency one. That way you don't see it when the light is off. And now we can position our light to our liking, which in this case, well, gotta cut this, and I'm gonna make it daytime too. So we'll go here, clock time 14. Now we can position this light, and I wanna position it around here, kind of rotate it at an angle. So make sure, okay. We're gonna put it like that, like that. Just like that. Yep, just like that. That looks pretty realistic, I guess. Uh, want to move it up a little bit. Because I'm thinking of it of like if they were to stick their hand up, it would be like a little bit like around here, maybe. And maybe a little bit. Oh, that's perfect. You know what? That's, uh, yeah, that's good enough. Okay. Now we have our emergency vehicle. Wow. And finally, oh, I think I see what I did wrong with this um, real hold up. Where is it? Is this it? No, that's the actual grill piece. I would like to know. Nah, there it is. Ja, okay. There we go. Alright, anyways. Uh, we got that down. So now our light should rotate 90 degrees and then back. I would do this test in a minute, but I just would like to make sure that the script doesn't break because there's a spotlight in there. And um, it wouldn't break, but it would just activate one, as you can see here. Spotlight enabled equals true, but not spotlight one. So we'll add that in there. Since the brick name is white, you can change it to red or whatever, but it really doesn't matter what you name it to. We'll name the spotlight, oh, oh, spotlight one. As for this, we'll find the spotlight false part right here. But spotlight one equals false. And now your vehicle is kind of set up for the light itself. And as for the rotations, since this is a stage vehicle, you'll see that there's different stages here. So we're going to delete stage two um, and rotate action. Yeah, we'll delete rotate item. If you don't want to make it rotate like maybe 90 degrees, but if you want it to rotate, you can keep rotate action in there. We'll delete rotate action from here as well. Now that we have that, G1 we can remove since all it is, um, G1 is if you have multiple rotating lights, like an SLR, basically, where the lights are physical heads while there's a piece that rotates around it. Since we don't have that, we have a uh, piece that um, goes around itself. We don't really need that now, do we? Um, apparently, there's a problem with this end. No, there wasn't a problem, but the problem was the G1 piece here. Yeah, and then, so, end and end. Change, rotate, false. Uh, we'll delete this here. Motor, um, if you have, like I said, if you have multiple lights, you can keep these motor pieces in here. I'm going to delete both of these and put motor one, since that's the only motor that we have on this car. And delete all these ones on the bottom as well. Um, um, okay. So else, if, else, if. Then, end. Okay, so we can delete all this and then 
believe end in there. Robots get children. Motor one, two, three. Motor one. Okay. Uh, we got all of that down. Motor one. If stage true, this is if you have a regular lighting vehicle, then you don't need to add that in there. The um, number. What's what is the issue with this end? Oh, I guess that works. Rotate equals false. So on desired. Um, okay. Oh, also, by the way, max velocity the higher the number, the faster to go, the lower the number, the slower to go. Desired angle, don't change this. Uh, max velocity for turning off, don't change that either. Or else, when you turn off your light, if you put, if you make this like one, or like let's say max velocity is 0.3. Then, however many times it rotated, that's how many times it's going to rotate back to get back to its original angle. So, just don't touch that. Um, so, that should be good. Yeah, that should be perfect. Okay. Turn angle. Okay. Now we can test out our vehicle and hope that it works. But before we do that, we need to come. Well, let me see if this vehicle has it. Okay. Make sure that this vehicle has a. Siren GY in it, siren control. Sirens and lights are all there. Beautiful. And finally, since as I said, this is not a uh, stage vehicle, this is a regular patrol vehicle. False and true. Else. And There we go. Okay. Uh, that should be it. So we're gonna delete all this. We don't need anything from there anymore. We can probably delete this vehicle as well. Keep the NYPD there one or NYPD one just in case uh, we need something else from it. Base plate by templates. Yes. See our light there. Now, uh, since I forgot to add, now that I think about it, the light that turns on, it shouldn't be there. But I'm turning this on, and it seems like it's not working. Why, you may ask? Well, because of the value, now that I think about it. Yep, this is a number value. You can't change that to true. So, we'll put a bool value in there. We call it on. So now, we're going to run it. See if it works. Hold on. Run. Yep, look at that. The light is rotating. Awfully quick, but it's rotating. Um, and you can see uh, rotations don't really vary on the angle. No matter where you have it, the light will rotate if you have it with the motor. You can see the light on um, both of them just spinning around it. Now, what uh, we're going to do finally is have the script tell the light, hey, get this piece, which is the part, to activate when the light is on. So, since the piece is named white, what you could do is, um, actually, we could go here and just do script dot parent dot uh, rote, rote lights dot rote light, since it's only one light, um, dot rote light, um, Dot uh, part. Sorry, it took me a while to get there. Transparency equals zero. And this will say, okay, transparency zero is basically like the light being on. And for here, we'll just do transparency equals one. Um, oh, I almost forgot. The light is spinning a little too quickly. So what we'll do is we'll change the max velocity to one. And this should give me like a small, uh, slow, small, slow spinning kind of rotation to it. So let's see. Hopefully it works. Well, it works, but hopefully the script doesn't die. God, what does it look like that? It's like the shadow or like, that's very strange. Yeah, it's like the shadows are not very good with these. But as you can see there, 
um, not screw lenses, it's like no glass on the um, crown day. Oh, okay, well, that works. It's glass on the front, just not on the uh, window there. As you can see, it's rotating. It looks kind of good. I guess you could say I'm not really into this type of lighting, but I'm pretty sure there's a real life crown Vic out there that has that. Also, okay, well, probably show you how to do that as well since we're here. But you can see the light is rotating, it's working. Now you've just finally done your own rotator light without annoying Vargas on how to do it. Can you believe that? It's incredible, right? Now, um, we're going to get into the wheel part. So you can see we have the hubcaps there, uh, mesh, of course. Uh, if you remember, we moved all of that um, stuff into a model that was in here. So we have to find the wheel model, which we have here. This is the steely. We'll make this into sand because sand is big, big, um, big better, as you can see there. Big, big better. Yep. Uh, and we will um, actually go into the FL wheel, which is here. Put the mesh part inside of the parts, and we could delete anything that might be the rim. So then these two are rims. The I mean, oh no, no, that's a that's a plate. Okay, and then okay. So this is the tire. This is the rim. Where's the rim? This is the rim. Oh, rim. Oh, okay. The rim is that piece, okay? That this is the big piece right here. Big. So yeah, that works. So we did good there. Um, only thing is that rim looks like it's a little. Uh, that a little bit, so we'll move back. Just, just that, just that. Or, like, there. That's that's fine. Whatever. Now we have our steely or hubcaps, hubcaps, yeah, hubcaps. Um, we're gonna replace the car with all these lights. With um, with these um wheels, I mean, Jesus. Um, RL. Um. I don't know why, but I always thought it looked weird how this wheel was kind of in more than the other ones. And I know it's not like that in real life. I know it's like that. Like, it's popped out a little more. Like that, I think. No, oh, that's what I want now. Okay. Then this one. RR. I'll name this one FR. Front right, rear right, rear left, front left. Okay. There we go. Now we have our car. Just like that. Can you believe? Wow. I am proud of you, whoever's watching, that you finally learned how to make your own. Rotations for any light that is a mesh part union, and um, also learned how to um, put your own custom wheels on there. And um, now that I think about it, I kind of want to make the, uh, the tire itself sand material. This makes it a little nicer. Although it says that there's a texture here, I don't see it though. I'll just see that now. I'm going to take one final look at uh, the car that we made. Um, yeah. It's incredible, isn't it? Wow. I kind of feel like I'm watching one of those, like, <laughs> old... LA movies, you know, where they have like the LAPD police chase, you see like four of these cars with that one rotator light on the top just chasing someone. It's pretty uh pretty extraordinary. Uh my name's Avian. See you later. You learned I did part of my job. So
Bye, I guess. I don't know. See ya. Well, Bamos. 35 minutes and 8 seconds.